when it's all on the line. This is your moment. Second place is not an option. When you tie on a bait by Strike King, you're standing on the shoulders of legends. Hi, I'm Denny Brower, and welcome to Michiana Outdoor News. I've fished a little bit up in your part of the country, and this particular technique I'm doing right now, throwing the swim bait jig, is perfect for the type of water you're fishing. Right here I've got a grass flat that's got a lot of clumps of grass. It'll come through that cover, you swim it up beside that cover. So if you can fish a spinner bait, you can fish a swim jig. It's a perfect bait for heavy cover, and it's a perfect bait for drawing big fish out of that cover. It's almost like finesse spinner baiting. You need to learn this technique. It's very, very simple. The equipment I'm throwing it on, this gets you a fairly stiff rod because you don't have to put a lot of action in the bait, but you'll need the stiffness of that rod to get them out of the heavy cover and get the hook to penetrate uh, the reel. Higher speed reel will help you out some. I'd go with at least a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. Line, I like to throw it on 20 pound test tattoo fluorocarbon. That seems to be the perfect combination for fishing the bait. 3 8 ounce to me is the perfect weight. I like to use the Strike King, uh, Greg Hackney, heavy hook swim bait. It's got a lot more hook to it. But let me sit down and show you exactly what I'm talking about in my tackle box. Here's the Strike King Hackney Heavy Hook Swim Jig I'm talking about. Of course, you got a pointed head where it comes through the vegetation. you got your weed guard. It's got a little keeper here to help hold your trailer on from sliding down, but the key feature, it's got this real strong hook so that when you're bringing it by them clumps and you get a big one, grab it with that 20-pound test line. You can horse him out of there and not worry about your hook flexing. Got several different trailer options you can use. Swimming caffeine, shads, crawdads, just whatever you want to do. If I wanted to really emulate a, a shad, I'm going to set it up just like that. And boy, you're just throwing it out and you're swimming it through that cover and it'll get you some giant strikes. I always kind of try to match the trailer to the color of the jig. That's a good clear water color right there for me. Another good clear water color, if I'm wanting it to look like a bluegill or something, is the green pumpkin. If the water's a little bit stained, I'll go with a regular black and blue jig and match it up trailer-wise. Uh, another stained water color. If I'm still wanting to make it look like a shad or a bluegill, I go with this right here where I got some chartreuse. And I'll even go as much as putting a chartreuse trailer that'll match right behind it. And that really brightens the bait up. So just got to kind of see what the mood of the fish is. But 3 8 ounce is my favorite. Some guys like quarter, some guys like half. But for me, for an all-around swim jig, a 3 8 ounce is the perfect combination. So get you a few different trailers, get you a few different colored of the swim jigs, and give them a try. I mean, you go out there and you fish them a few hours around this type of cover, I promise you, you're going to get some great opportunities.